This is a popular recipe using whole wheat pizza dough that's fun for the whole family to help make and eat. Calzones with creamy Caesar salad. I have the oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, so let's cook up our ground beef. Here I have a half pound of extra lean ground sirloin. Sometimes I use extra lean ground turkey for this recipe too, but I always make sure I'm buying the lean or extra lean ground meat as those are lowest in fat. I have a large nonstick skillet here over medium heat, and I'll just add in the meat, along with one teaspoon of minced garlic, which would be two cloves. I'm going to stir that with a wooden spoon, breaking up the meat a bit as it cooks. I'll let it cook for about five to seven minutes or until I don't see any more pink. The internal temperature should reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit. My ground beef is done cooking. So I'm draining and rinsing off the extra fat through a colander into a bowl. Later, when the fat hardens in the bowl, I'll discard it in the trash as it can be damaging to the pipes if you pour it down them instead. Now, I'll add the drained beef to this bowl. along with one third of a cup of frozen corn that I've already thawed. You could also use other vegetables like broccoli, mushrooms, spinach, any veggies that are good on pizza are also good calzone stuffers. I usually use whatever frozen veggie I have in my freezer or my kids' favorites. Next, I'm adding in one teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning. Or you can use one half teaspoon of dried basil and one half teaspoon of dried oregano if you don't have Italian seasoning. I'll mix that up and set it aside. Now it's time to roll out our pizza dough. Here I have one 13.8 ounce can of whole grain pizza crust dough. Sometimes I also use the whole wheat pizza dough that I find in plastic bags in the refrigerated section at my supermarket. I've already tossed a little bit of flour onto my cutting board so the dough doesn't stick. Now I'm just going to unroll the crust You could cut it and pat it into rectangles with your hands or you can use a rolling pin There we go. Okay, now I'm going to cut it with a pizza cutter into eight similar size squares. My calzone crusts are all cut out and now it's time to stuff them. This is always a fun step for the kids. I'm going to spoon about one-fourth of a cup of my ground beef mixture for each square. I'll just show you how to do one for now. I'm going to sprinkle that with one tablespoon of part skim mozzarella cheese. You'll need about one half cup for the entire recipe. Then, to seal your calzone, you want to fold the dough over the filling and shape the dough into a semicircle, like so. And then, mash the edges together. Press along the edges to further seal the dough, then prick the top of the calzone to allow steam to escape when baking. 
After I finish assembling the rest of my calzones, I'll put them on the foil lined baking sheet that's coated with cooking spray. Pop them into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until they're lightly browned. While the calzones are baking, we can whip up this easy creamy Caesar salad. To make the dressing, you need 1 a cup of fat-free buttermilk, two tablespoons of fat-free mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one minced garlic clove, and one quarter teaspoon of anchovy paste. You can find anchovy paste by the canned fish at the grocery store. It's a traditional ingredient in Caesar dressing. Then, one quarter teaspoon of black pepper and one quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just gonna whisk them all together. And here, I have one large head of romaine lettuce that I've washed, patted dry, and ripped into bite-sized pieces. I'll just pour the dressing over the top. And give that a quick toss. Our calzones are hot out of the oven and they really smell great. I have a bowl with one cup of low sodium marinara sauce that people can use for dipping. And here's our fresh creamy Caesar salad. And there you have it, a fun and yummy Italian family meal that you can make again and again because it's good for you too. Enjoy.